All right, now the story of Lego Pirates of the Caribbean follows the four movies, all four of them that have been released, and that's about it. I mean, if you've played any Lego game before, then you already know what's going to happen. It's just a bunch of Legos taking the place of the characters from the films, and they just make fun of the film, pretty much. Not make fun of, like, they just sit there and do, like, freaking Mystery Science Theater or something like that. It's just like, oh, I'm, I'm going to get my sword. Oh, it's a freaking banana. Uh, doif. Uh, so <laughs> that's really the story of Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. It's pretty much a spoof with Legos in it of all four of the movies. That's the story. I'm not going to explain it any more than that. It doesn't need more explaining. So let's go on to the sound of the game. All right, now the sound for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean is pretty cutesy, really. I mean, there's no voice acting in the game at all. It's all about, it's all grunts and uh, little noises that the Lego characters make. I mean, Jack Sparrow makes grunts like he would in the Pirates of the Caribbean films. Captain Barbosa would make grunts like he would in the Pirates of the Caribbean films. And, you know, they don't all just sound like the same kind of grunts and like, uh, 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 uh. it's not all the same stupid for each character. At least they did that much. Like, Jack would like, uh, uh, you know, like how he talks. I don't know. Uh, but you know what I'm trying to say. If you don't, then what the hell ever. Uh, the music is actually fantastic. I mean, they take the actual theme from Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, the dun 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 dun, dun you know, that, it, the iconic song, and they actually put it into every uh, mission in the game when you finish it and you get your stat screen, it plays and it's like, hell yeah, I love this song. I can listen to it ten times over. It's awesome that's in this game because you feel accomplished when that comes up. I love it. I thought it was great. So you know what? I, I actually really like the sound in this. You know, the cutesy little grunts, you know, whatever, but the soundtrack was great because it had that song and the other, like, orchestra strong songs was in it, but, you know, whatever. I like the sound in this game. Let's go on to the graphics. All right, now the graphics for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean are actually really good. I was surprised, really, because I was going into this thinking it was just going to look exactly like all the other Lego games, and you know, somewhat they do, but they actually add a lot more into this game. Like the the scope of the environments, the scope of the environments look really, really good. I mean, there's not, it's no sandbox or anything, which would be cool for a Lego game, but it's not really a sandbox kind of environment. It's more like you see a lot more because it is set in the Caribbean, so you see a lot of like uh, scenery shots of water or something like that and it looks really nice the water looks really good the environments themselves are really good and of course the characters that you play as are Lego and they they look great for Legos I mean not much I mean you can't really screw up a bunch of blocks being put together to form something but they, they look they look really great. I, I really have to admit it. <laughs> they really do look good. Definitely with the animations. The animations are very cutesy, very nice. Uh, I like them. So overall, I thought the graphics were surprisingly great. I really like the graphics in this game. So let's go on to the gameplay of LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. Alright, now the gameplay for LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean was surprisingly really good. Mostly because I don't like LEGO games. I really don't. Uh, since the beginning, I liked the first one, the Star Wars one, and then after that, it really continually just got on my nerves. And they just didn't do much with them. They always had that cheeky, like, freaking, oh, we're funny humor, and that was about it. That's what they kept up with that, and they kept the gameplay the same, and that was really it. This was different, actually. I was surprisingly, in this game was surprisingly enjoyable because of the gameplay. The combat in the game is, of course, sword combat because it's Pirates of the Caribbean, but it does have different variety. I mean, mostly it is sword combat, but there's other different things, like, you can, uh, have different characters with different, like, uh, uh, weapons, like, uh, hammers and guns and stuff that they can throw, like, their own body parts in, it was really, well, it, you know, it's not gory or anything, so don't worry about that, but really, it was really enjoyable, the combat itself was really fun, and of course, the puzzles in the game, the puzzles are probably the only thing that I always liked in Lego games. In the last one I played, the Star Wars, the third one that just came out a couple months ago, didn't really like the puzzle in that and the combat, so I really just didn't like that game at all. This one, both of those things are awesome in this. Really, the puzzles are very fun and the combat is really smooth and really good. Um, and I really, I just really like the gameplay. Uh, they add a couple different things here, like uh, you can have up to eight people 
eight different characters in there, which is really cool. Like eight different characters from the Pirates of the Caribbean saga, and that's really, really cool. I really enjoy that. Uh, and they had variety. That's the other thing I was going to say. But I already said that. Uh, and there, there you go. Really, that's really my review for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. There's not much else to talk about. And I'll just say it right here. I really enjoyed this game. Don't think it's amazing. I do think it's really good. So anyway, check my descri- check the description for this video on the bottom for the written review and the score. Thank you. And I think this game is definitely worth a rent. Maybe even a buy for about 30 to 40 bucks. So there you go. There's my review. Thank you and goodbye.